hello student welcome to your pedia education so in the continuation of the series where we keep on informing you people about various opportunity in foreign admissions and job scenario today i am here with one more opportunity that is again with ntnu <coughs> norwegian university of science and technology and this time this opportunity is with the department of biotechnology and food science there are two phd position in biotechnology department so if you think you are interested to proceed your career in this domain and you are looking for the opportunity in this domain then you can go ahead with this fine what are the details associated with this let's see so basically this two positions for three year phd fellowships are available at the department of biotechnology and food science ntnu and with an expected start january 1 2022 means next year 1st of january is the expected date to start of this contract or this course right so basically this fellowship are funded by the european union horizon 2020 research and innovation program under the marine curie grant agreement number 956481 now <clears throat> what is resopta see resopta consist of enthusiastic academic researcher and innovative non academic partner which together will train a new generation of scientists and expertise in sustainable and healthy fish production will minimum water consumption production of fish in the recirculated aquaculture system ras requires experience from several scientific disciplines but there is need to bridge existing knowledge gap between these discipline to ensure a high water quality healthy and non stress fish and a supreme consumer quality of the fish so this is a brief introduction about the resopta and ras is defined recirculated aquaculture systems fine now <clears throat> about this ntnu esr project the two phd position announced here corresponding to esr 1 and esr 3 will be involved in work package of the sopta project which i discussed earlier which focus on water quality in ras this will particularly investigate aspect regarding microbes and particle in ras and include a third ESR which is ESR 2 recruited by the agriculture center for cattle production grassland management dairy food wildlife and fisheries these all things okay duties of the position ESR 1 in RAS biofilters for microbial conversion of toxic ammonia to nitrate are mandatory in addition to the chemical water quality the biofilter may also affect the microbial water quality either positively through consumption of substrate and nutrient and thereby reducing the growth of suspended microbe or negatively as a potential reservoir for detrimental bacteria the influence of RAS biofilter on the microbial water quality is purely understand and will be a major topic for the ESR1 this is for the position 1 right now if we talk about ESR3 the microbes suspended in the RS water are those potentially interacting with the fish in the rearing tanks is it okay so esr3 will focus on the interaction between the microbiome suspended in the water and those associated with the fish now mobility within the sopta training network will be highly prioritized for esr1 second r plant according to university of copenhagen and at a large norway commercial rs facility for production atlantic slomen smolts the candidate will be enrolled in the phd program in biotechnology the faculty of natural science the graduate program required the student to obtain 30 ect point during the 3 year period in order to graduate of these mandatory training activities in resopta will continue with the 12 ects points so these are the necessary details about this fine what is the required selection criteria see the researcher must not have resided or carried out his her main activity related to work and studies in norway for more than 12 month in the 3 year immediately prior to the recruitment at ntnu unless as a part of a procedure for obtaining refugee status under the geneva convention so this is very important point if you have undergone such sort of the circumstances then you must be well aware of this right so the researcher must be early stage researcher at the time of the recruitment he or she must be in the first four year full time equivalent research experience of his and her research careers and must not have been awarded a doctoral degree so these two are the very important point required the selection criteria now 
what is basically other requirement there their requirement are you must have professionally relevant background in biotechnology microbiology or closely related field again hands on experience with molecular biological technique is a prerequisite is it okay apart from this your education must be correspond to a five year norwegian degree program where 120 credits are obtained at the master level you need to check this compatibility okay now what is the next point next is preferred selection criteria the ideal candidate will have strong knowledge with microbial biotechnology environmental biotechnology and or microbial ecology experience with aquaculture system in particular with ras will be valuable so these are the preferred profile if you have any of these then you should go for it right then <clears throat> what they offer again same the exciting and stimulating task in a strong international academic environment and open and inclusive work environment with dedicated colleague favorable term in the norway public service pension fund and employee benefit all identical things salaries and conditions again are identical phd candidates are remunerated in this code and are normally remunerated as a gross according to their currency 491200 per annum before the tax fine so this is the all detail related to this biotechnology profile and about the application see the application must include an up to one page personal motivation letter then there should be cv and transcript and diplomas for your bachelor and master degrees if you had not completed the master degree you must submit a confirmation that the master thesis has been submitted at least you need to make this confirmation if you have recently submitted your master thesis a documentation of a completed master degree must be presented before taking up the position before the starting of this course or contract you need to present this name and address of the three referees this is also required here fine and what is the deadline for this again 19th of this month 2021 is the last deadline if you are interested in this biotechnology domain then you can go ahead with this and explore this opportunity fine thank you